Long ago, dragons ravaged the lands. Only cats known as the Dragon Blood could defeat them. But suddenly, they vanished, never to be seen again. Cat quest. Yay! So, <laughs> I wasn't, I honestly wasn't going to play this game, but uh, in, somebody in Twitch chat was like, hey, play Cat Quest. And I was like, fine, I'll at least take a look at it. Actually, it looked kind of fun, so I figured I'd, I'd, I'd take a look at the very least. Will you always be there for me? Always. Sister! Made by the Gentle Bros. Never heard of them. Zoop. I'm so confused as to what's exactly supposed to be happening here. Okay. Well, artistically, I don't mind it. I like the style. <laughs> Freaking orbital lasered the boat. It seems a little excessive to me. I just kind of want to get to the gameplay. Oh, goody. We've got a... Wait, isn't that the symbol for the Zerg? And Navi. Oh, well... I guess this is going to be a game of borrowed ideas. Let's see if it can stand on its own. Hello. Okay, this actually looks kind of decent. Felon guard, of course. Oh, thank goodness you're alive. I'm Spiri, your guardian spirit. Listen, dragons have returned. We need to scurry to a town quickly. We can save your questions for later. Okay, so this is how I run. Yay. All right, so I attack with X. I roll with A. I have inventory. I don't have anything else. To Mew Town. Pause up, a monster's coming. This is how you attack enemies. A red circle shows an enemy's attack range. Press the button to roll away. Well, it's dead, so... Can I just stun lock them? Nope. Can't stun lock them. You can catnap in towns to heal your wounds. Try it. I'm not wounded. Okay, so it looks like we get EXP from those orbs. Well, let's go to town anyway, so I can catnap. Blah! <laughs> That's like zero, all right, whatever, dot, dot, dot. You don't talk much, do you? Strong, silent type. But don't worry, I'm here to help you get your sister back. First, we gotta see what that mark on your head means. Come on, let's go find a mage. Well, what, what do you got for a quest board? No quest available. Uh, I'm sorry? Oh, it's a do not pass symbol. Careful of forest too, you can't see what's lurking inside. Okay. I don't know. Well, anyway, the mage notices the mark on your head. Yeah, that's the mark of the dragon blood. You mean the fabled dragon slayers? But they vanished many years ago. But this is good. That mark means you can learn magic. Come this way. So this is the arcane temple. I thought they were going to make another cat pun. This is the arcane temple. I'm going to teach you a spell, so listen up. You've learned fame flame purr. It burns enemies and weakens their defenses. This is how you cast spells. Or hold right click to open the magic menu. Oh, I've got a little mana bar. Comes back. All right, sure, why not? Let's get out of here. Come on, let's test your magic on that monster there. Okay, so it looks like mana does not come back outside of combat. It comes back when I hit things though. You can learn new spells at other temples too, all right? All right, so quest complete. So we get a bunch of EXP, and my stats go up. Awesome, anything else to do? Dot, dot, dot. There, what? Wait, what was that? Ugh, shoot, it just like skipped past. It was like, there are monsters, and then just skip the dialogue. All right, whatever, I guess I'll just murder my way through things. Yeah, it looks like I can pretty smoothly uh, just use it whenever I want. Almost whenever I want, which is helpful. The combat is simplistic, but all right, tolerable. Ah, a lot of repetition here. Rar, a ritual circle. Oh, hi. A dragon? Look, all the town cats are frozen in fear. We need to help them. Magic uses up mana. It's a purple bar. Attacking enemies regenerates mana. Oh, I took a hit. So I, I guess there are no iframes on the rolls. 
good to know. So, no iframes on rolling, but plenty of iframes on, uh, murder. That dragon exploded. Did you just defeat a dragon? Maybe you really are a dragon blood. Come on, let's go see if the town's cats are as safe as a whistle. That... That's not a phrase. That's not a thing. Alright, whatever. Gasp, did that kitty just slay a dragon? That mark, isn't that the mark of a dragon blood? They all have the same hair. We're saved, the dragon blood have returned. Mm. My whiskers, it's King Leonardo, the kindest, most valiant king of all. Ugh, return to your homes, all of you. Well, see ya. Oh. Hmm. Huh? What's wrong with the king? Anyway, possum job with the dragon, Mr. Dragonblood. Yay, okay, now I'm level three. Six. So that white cat kidnaps your sister, and you end up being a dragonblood. No way is that a coincidence. No furry way. What do we say we pounce to the capital quest board? The dragons have come. Stay away from the cave grotto. Yan. Dragons, I bet the, that white cat's somehow part of this mess. Let's check out this cave grotto. Don't forget to catnap often. It creates a save point, too. Any other quests? Nope. Alright, how do I catnap? Just here? Well... Mm. Oh, I see. I, I sleep here. Game saved. Okay, so I don't have armors and I get a level 1 flame purr. Oh, okay, and I can I can queue up four spells here. Gotcha. Well, let's check out the other quest board. King's Mage. Okay, King is under a curse. Join the rescue mission at the Arcane Temple today. We should do this. The King needs our help. Apparently so. We're here to save the King. Finally, a cat's come to our aid. First, we'll need to find the head mage. He knows what happened, but he's disappeared. How do we find him? We've cast a spell to find the head mage's magical energy. But locations keep changing. I'll mark them out. Maybe you can investigate. Alright. So I got that side quest and no others. Cool, I'm just gonna run around for a bit and see what we've got. We got Catnap, Catnap Cove. So we've got kind of randomized dungeons that I can roll through. Well, let's go through the seaside cave for the time being. I don't know if they actually take uh, fire damage or not. Well, so far it's actually, yeah, I mean, it's, in it's endearing. Ow. Okay, so now I'm on fire. Now everybody is on fire. I'll have to watch out for those. It's a little awkward with the, uh, the angling on everything. Sometimes it gets a little bit hard to judge if you're in a safe spot or not. That's okay, though. It doesn't really matter. I can't imagine that this is particularly hard. Ew. So what do we got? We've got Ranger Vest, level 3, 3 HP. Or, level 1? Okay. Oh, it even shows up on the character, so it doesn't offer me any sort of things. And we can sort by stuff. Cool. There's also something... I mean, everything has a level, so I might be able to, like, level up the, uh... I might be able to level up my equipment? Kind of hard to tell exactly. There we go. And cleared. Do we get anything else, or... No, not really. Yeah, I'm really curious about the whole... Oh, I see. The That's a minus versus a check. Okay. It's I, I like the fact that uh, equipment shows up on the character. That's a short dungeon. Well, we should probably go... Uh, we should probably go take a cat nap. Before I go any further. I can probably do the level 3 one, so we might as well do that, too. Okay. It's interesting. It's super simplistic. But it's not terrible? I, I appreciate the fact that everything can be set on fire. As far as I can tell, I don't have to worry about any kind of weird elemental trinity nonsense. Maybe I will have to worry about that. I don't know. I don't know at all. But, 
I'll see. Oh yeah, we've also got like money. I'm curious uh, when I'm gonna have the ability to spend money on anything. Let's just stay away from that. Yeah, the art is charming. I mean, honestly, this looks like a mobile game. I think the only problem is it would be hard for this to perform as such. Okay, so we get Mage Vest, level two magic. Let's go with that. I don't really need the extra health. I'm not entirely sure if I need the magic either. Well, I'm not entirely sure what magic does. Oh, holy crap, that's huge. All right, that's a lot bigger than I was expecting. So what do we got down here? I'm just gonna check everything out. Ah, the dragon blood. Did you know that you can leave feedback on the game through the game? Not interested. Okay, so we've got that there. We've got these guys. Oh, I see. So because it's in the forest, we can't even tell if uh, if they're hitting me. That's unfortunate. Makes it hard to find loot. How many... How many... I, I should test that at some point. Oh, you pick up a half-buried potion flask. Okay. There's magical energy trapped inside that flask. Hmm. Let's check the other locations. A monument. Look, there's inscriptions on it. In a long time ago... In a lo time long, long ago, we served the old masters. They created our world and were our gods. I wonder if there are more of these. Bat Cave, level 8. It's super tempting to just do it anyway. Considering I might be able to just, like, dodge past everything. Yeah, we've got, uh, we've got a save point, like, right here. I'm gonna try it anyway. This is probably a terrible idea. I don't even know how death is handled. But I'm gonna do it because I am full of guts and vim. And going to die, probably. Bat cave, eh? They don't seem so tough. Okay, they hurt a bunch. So as long as I hit and run, it's not that big of a deal. So hit, run. Yeah, we also got a health potion, but I'm not really sure if I could or should use it. Other thing is I'm gonna level up pretty fast by being here. Ow. Assuming I'm not stupid and risky. Fortunately, we got a whole host of these these bats all over the place. Well, let's see what we get out of this. So we get a wizard's hat, mage hat. All right, I will take it. Oh yeah. Okay. So far, so good. And that gives me enough for another one of these, which should kill that guy. Awesome. Okay, so let's bait him with an attack. And then we can do another. I guess I'll just do fire to finish him off. Looks like there's only a couple left. Hopefully we get the... Hopefully we get, like, an Estus flask in this game. That'd be awesome. It doesn't really feel like the enemies really actually are aware that I exist. They mostly just react to me going inside of their inside of their area of influence. Which, I mean, I guess works. Oh, these are only worth one EXP at a time. Well, whatever, I'll take it. Looks like there's a bunch of quest chains. That's kind of interesting. I hope we get the ability to upgrade our stuff soonish. Because I'm... Oh, maybe that's what money is used for. You find every item uh, as, like, just unique stuff. But uh, money goes into upgrading them, so they're better. Hopefully there's more unique uh, abilities than just, like, uh, base stats. Oh, Cave Grotto. Defeat monsters. Alright. I mean, it's easy enough. Didn't I already do this one? No, I never did this one. It'd be nice if I... Uh, okay, we... Do we? I have no idea. I have no idea if we can... Yeah, we can get alternate weapons. I wonder if there are alternate weapons that actually change how we play. That'd be nice to know. Oh, what do we got? Uh... Oh! Interesting, so my mage's hat leveled up. So, instead of... Okay, so if you find a duplicate, it, it levels the item up. 
That actually, that, that seems kind of fair. I mean, it's all super basic, and I really do hope we get the ability to, like, maybe upgrade our stuff or something. I, I don't know. I'm trying to think of uh, how it would best be handled. Like, uh... Like, you know, if we get a, a spear instead that changes our attack pattern, maybe. Alright, so that gives us some defense. I'm gonna do that. I mean, I seem to take a couple of hits here. Here and there. Oh no! The other thing that would be super freaking helpful would be uh, the ability to uh, the ability to regain mana just passively, but that might be a little bit powerful. Uh, powerful, overpowered. Pick up another half buried potion flask. Hmm. Still no mage kitty. Last place to check. Well, we do have a uh, blacksmith's there. So I guess it's something to check out. The other question is, I wonder if I can redo, like, the cave grotto. That's an interesting question. Alright, so for 5,000 I can buy that. Okay, let's talk to her. Make sure you buy some gear, y'all. So I can just buy chests. Looking to roll for some gear? It'll cost you 50 gold. Test your luck. Sure. Okay, so we get the, uh... Oh, the furry tank helmet. So it gives me, um... It gives me, uh, some armor and some damage. Okay, that seems useful. And that just... It just levels up my gear. Yeah, the 5,000 would be nice, but let's let's just keep rolling basic gear. Chainmail helmet. It's probably... I am adorable. Oh! Oh! Interesting. So, the way armor works is it doesn't actually reduce damage, it's a shield. Like, it's a replenishing shield effect. That's... different. Was not expecting that. It's cool. I was also really hoping the forest would be like instanced areas, much like the rest of the dungeons that we've been interacting with. Oh, that's okay. Yeah, so if I get a high enough armor value, uh, we may never take damage. Just gotta get up there. Oh, that's okay. I'll just kind of keep exploring around here. This is actually kind of super charming. It's not the most complicated ever game ever, but whatever. Monument, look, there's inscriptions on it. The old masters, our gods, not only gave us the gift of language, but taught us the ways of their kind as well. I wonder if there are more of these. Yeah, so eventually we get the ability to swim, probably. Oh, did I take damage from that? I have no idea if I did. Yep. But yeah, I do hope we get the ability to, like, modify our attacks in some way, shape, or form. I mean, button mashing ain't, fu uh, ain't bad, but it'd be cool if we could do some other stuff. Some level 15 runes. Okay. The peace the old masters brought did not last long, for the dragons came soon after. She always says that, but like, of course there are more of these. Okay, so let's check East Pot. Pot. East Pout? I don't know. Whatever. And we've got the Arcane Temple. Which has this. So for 50, we can get Lightning. Lightnyan zaps enemies to a Christian. Learn Lightnyan for 50. Yes. So I was actually halfway tempted as a joke to only have my commentary be, um, uh, Nan. Okay, so it's a lateral move. That's, I mean, that's neat. All right, uh, do we, do we risk it like a crazy person? I've just saved, so, like, who cares? So the beta runes defeat monsters. Okay, so they only take damage from magic. Okay. A bit of a pain. Okay, so we do get magic back. By just s sitting around. 
I'm a little bit afraid of what's going to happen if I take a hit here. But at the same time, look at all that EXP. This is... Arguably worth it. Okay. Yeah, so I'm just gonna... ...mash my magic. Because as long as they're burning... ...this should work. Okay, so what do we get here? Unfortunately, I think it's just gonna be the same type of gear, so it's just gonna level up. I wonder if you can randomly do these, now that I'm thinking about it. Like, repeat, repeat them over and over and over again. Probably. Okay, so we got bats, we got some firefoxes. Oh, I just got the pun. Okay. There goes one down. I guess bow and arrow would probably make this game completely broken. Ow. Okay, so that was 14 damage, and I'm burning pretty hard. Okay. Thank you. If I level up, I believe I go back up to full health. Let me just stay away from that. Okay, there we go. Back up to full health. Awesome. And we've got a uh, golden-looking treasure chest. Looks like you'll need a key to unlock this chest. So I might have to either come back or something. I don't know. Either that or I have to kill every enemy. I don't know. I, I really don't know. Okay, so these guys have the capacity for killing me. Even more so than all of the other guys. Just because they kind of operate in a bunch out. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Owie. We actually did not die there, though. We got real, real lucky. There we go. Alright, life is good, except for that money is beyond my reach. Much my general chagrin. chagrin. It'd be nice if I could increase my range or something. And yeah, maybe these guys are actually more deadly. I don't know. Does my magic come back if I'm not in combat? I have no idea. That's okay. There we go. Right, is that enough to put us up a level? The answer is no. So we got to find a key. Unfortunately, I feel like um, we're going to have to find a key elsewhere. Here's the question, if I try going back into this, it just reset- oh my god, I can just farm things. Freely if I so wish. Well, that's one way to power level. I mean, it's a little bit stressful, but uh, it's one way to do it. How much money do I have? I got 64, so I could actually buy another gear upgrade if I wanted to. The other option is, can I go back in here and, like, upgrade the lightning orb? How much money? 250. Ah, that's how it works. I think I'll hold off on it for at least a little while. Uh, until we get a key, I'm not going to go back in there. I might also just keep refraining from uh, going into the harder stuff, at least for a little while longer. Okay, found another half-filled potion flask. Where's the head mage? Let's head back for now. Alternatively, we've got a level 10 dungeon that I can go into. Yeah, unfortunately, it just seems like uh, most of these dungeons are going to be about the same. You know, just here's a couple different enemy types. Good luck. Oh. Well, could be worse. Oh! Looks like we might be running into one or two new enemy types at the very least. Okay. And these guys, these guys go down quick. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I'm just gonna slowly run us backwards down here. I do wish that there was like a, a sprint button I could do. Okay, so we do have an, a new enemy type that I've never seen before. Oh, they're a healer. They've got some kind of 
slam attack. Though I don't know if the healing is uh, for everyone or just each other or themselves. I, I don't know. I could afford to start taking some of these hits, probably. But I could actually just keep rolling. I, I wonder how feasible just tanking hits becomes if you have a high enough armor value. Probably fairly viable. Okay, so what do we get from this one? Yeah, part of it is, like, tank armor. Okay. I'm also super curi curious about, like, uh, can I just rerun dungeons over and over and over again? Because, like, if I go back in here, is the treasure chest going to be is still going to be there? Uh, I gotta, I gotta do a quick test. I press B because I'm so used to B being the, uh, the roll button. And I mean, the e EXP is good. I don't even know if we need to care about completing it, but the EXP is, I mean, this game is kind of just like a small little grind fest. Nothing major. Nothing particularly hard. Maybe uh, one of the spells gives me like a speed boost. It'd be nice if I could like apply a temporary buff. It makes me like zip around or attack really fast or something like that. Might be a little bit broken. I'm just gonna pop the fire. Unfortunately, you can't stack the the burning effect. Okay, so it looks like uh, gold can be farmed. Gold can be farmed. Uh, treasure chest cannot. So every, every uh, treasure chest is a unique entity in a dungeon. But I've farmed a decent amount of cash just from fighting them, so I guess there's our answer. Okay. So we've got the level 5 alpha runes. I guess I'll just run everything once until... We know we want to run something else. Okay, let's throw on the, the mage equipment, seeing as we're up against fists. And what do we get? We found the squire helmet, level 2. Was that better or worse than my mage hat? It's... I mean, a bit of both. I'll have to see what other magic I can pick up here. Can you tell I'm over-leveled for this dungeon? These guys are just folding. I actually took a hit there. This is a small dungeon, though. And yeah, this would be one that I would most definitely try running. Yep. Need a key to unlock this. We'll have to figure out where to get those later. This would be a dungeon that I could, I could rerun a couple of times for EXP if I felt so inclined. Let's hit another catnap. I'd actually call this uh, it for this episode. We've got a lot more to do. Clearly. But I'm having fun with it. I mean, it's not a... It's not a very good game, sort of. I don't know, it's kind of hard for me to like put a label on this. Because like, ultimately, yeah, it's, it's it's super simplistic and not very easy, uh, not very hard. But at the same time, it's charming enough. You hear that dragon blood, did you know? That the deep forest is behind me. Uh, behind me is off limits. Stay away! Shoo! Shoo! Radio then. We've also got the loot cave. Okay, I'll do the loot cave and then that'll be the end of it. Looks like it's got another one of those. It's got another one of those. Uh, locked chests, which is unfortunate. But yeah, I don't know. The the animations are, are simplistic. Oh! So he's got lightning. Magic. I guess I'll have to pay attention to that. Nothing unique, admittedly. But that's okay. I think also being overleveled grants me a bit of a boon here. I'll have to figure out where to get keys later. Alright, so we get the uh, Ranger Hood, which just gets me health? I don't really know the point of that. And we upgrade our Mage Vest up to level 3. And still need a key. Those bats kind of hurt, mainly because I, uh, they attack a little bit faster than everything else. And I'm not quite prepared for them. 
This music reminds me of Fable. Unfortunately, I, as far as I can tell, it's the exact same song the entire time. Which is rough. Yeah, we'll be leaving to heal up after this anyway. I was gonna go check the blacksmith. It's one of those where it's like, just one more dungeon. For better or worse. Okay. Yeah, let's go back to Kit Kats. The 5,000 chest would be nice, but farming up to that is gonna take some time. And I'd rather get the early game boost to facilitate farming it later. Okay, so we get the Ninja Shroud. So it reduces armor, increases damage. And we also get the Arcane Staff. Reduces damage, increases magic. Well, that's our first, like, actual weapon to equip. Honestly, it's not worth the negatives right now. Maybe when it gets upgraded, though. Yeah, we've also got, like, uh, the Ninja Shroud. And since I don't have any armor to begin with, might not be bad. Later date, though. Definitely later date. Oh, we got one more thing. And the answer is a new sword. Knight Sword. Barely upgraded. Not enough gold. Sorry about that. All right, so that, that should facilitate things a little bit. I don't know if my attack pattern changed because of that. Hard to say. Well, anyway. Oh, I haven't saved recently. Where does that put me? Back here. Well, that sucks. No, it doesn't. Awesome. I still have all my stuff. I'm just still injured for some reason. So I, I guess, uh, I guess buying things counts too. Good. I would have been pretty sad if I if I had to redo all of that stuff because I was paying attention. Well, one way or another. Oh, it's so you can't save scum. That makes perfect sense. Well, anyway, yeah. So like I was saying, uh, I guess this is going to be the end of the episode. So if you guys liked uh, this episode in any way, shape, or form. Uh, leave a like, helps more than you know, and, uh, let me know in the comments below, because, like, I'm like, kind of on the wall about doing a second episode, and a third, and a fourth, and whatever, because it's charming, but it's also kind of, it's, it's Wonder Bread. It's Thunder Bread, I don't know. Anyway, uh, but yeah, so if you do want to see more indie games, and potentially this game, hit subscribe, because, yeah, I, I might. Really depends on you guys. So I guess with that, see you guys next time, and as always, thanks for watching.